Welcome. This is Jim Peterson, the President of the Montana Senate, and welcome to the opening of the 62nd Legislative Session. This is the first week of the Legislature, and we're in Day 4. And uh, we are in the process this week of focusing almost exclusively on the Governor's budget. We're basically having four days of hearings specifically to analyze the Governor's proposed budget and to determine as the majority how we will develop a plan of our own. And in, pro in developing that plan, we have put together some basic guidelines that we're going to try to follow throughout the legislature. And the, the centerpiece of this guideline is creating opportunity for Montanans. And the question is, how do we do that? And I think the, the whole issue, when you ask a Montanan what's on their mind right now, they're talk they want to talk about jobs in the economy. And so our focus is how do we create jobs and stimulate the economy. And we think that the key here is development of Montana's natural resources in a responsible way. Most people have come to realize that Montana is the basically the Saudi Arabia of coal in the world and that we're missing the boat if we don't participate in, in helping solve the energy crisis not only in the U.S. but around the world. Asia is growing at the rate of... Uh, of a phenomenal rate. They're saying by 2050 we're going to have another 2.5 billion people in Montana, I mean in the world, and uh, that uh, equates to two more Chinas. And there's big demand right now for energy and particularly coal from Montana and, and as, as you probably know the governor was in Washington just yesterday talking to um, those folks about a port to uh, ship Montana coal to Washington and then on by boat to Asia. So developing Montana's resources is key to, to growing the economy and creating jobs. But to do that you have to have an educated workforce and so we want to continue delivering an excellent educational uh, 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 service and, and process to Montanans and we will be focusing on delivering educational excellence. To couple that now, I think that everyone also is very concerned about the growing the size of government. And so we're going to be focusing on limiting the size of government and living within our means. We're focusing on the budget and uh, that's what this week is about and we are going to live within our means matching ongoing revenue to ongoing expenses. We are not going to live in our savings account and we're not going to do these, some of these huge fund transfers that the governor is proposing. We think there's a better way. And finally, the last piece of our uh, message is restoring individual freedom. I think it's important that the people of Montana understand that we recognize their, their right to, um, to be uh, free people and make some choices of their own, and so we're going to honor and recognize individual freedom. That's kind of the, that's kind of the overview of the, of the beginning of the 62nd legislature. Uh, we enjoy majorities both in the House and the Senate as Republicans and we're going to be responsible, uh, we're going to be a steady hand in tough times, but we're also going to uh, uh, make some tough decisions and do the things that the people of Montana ask us to do on November 2nd.